We made it. We're four minutes late. Where's Waldo? Oh. <laughs> That's cute. Why are they wearing that? I don't know, but obviously, oh, is it like Italian night or something? Oh. Or French? That's Italian, isn't it? I see people on the gondolas wearing striped stuff. And tomorrow might be another formal night, Minara. Really? Yes, it may. Hello. How are you doing? Good. How are you? <laughs> I was right. Italian dinner night. <laughs> Is tomorrow night a formal night again? No, I'm oh, no. Okay, so it was just one formal night. That's good to know on a five night cruise. Okay, thank you. Okay, here's tonight's soups and salads and shoot, I love their soups. Yeah. Minestrone. Oh, it's Italian night, duh. Spaghetti, Minara. I think you would love the spaghetti with meatballs. Okay, and the spaghetti with meatballs. I think I'll get the white sea bass filet with herb butter, chard, and I don't want the potatoes. We'll try them. Oh my gosh, look, sea scallops and shrimp and cream sauce, gratinated whipped potatoes. Ooh. Wow. I'm gonna beef pot roast. You, that's your favorite thing, pot roast, like dad makes. Oh my gosh, why is there too many things that I want? Do we can get a sampler with like different, different things on it? I meant to tell you guys something. Well, I've just turned the camera on, but anyway, all different cruise lines have different beverage policies, as in what you can bring on the ship or not when you board and when you come back on to the ship from port. But I didn't know this. I know the customs allows you to bring a certain amount of alcohol into the country, but this ship, I saw it on the, there's an alcohol checkpoint table downstairs when you come on. It's where, say you bought a bottle of tequila here in port. They would take that bottle of tequila when they see it in the x-ray machine and they would put your name and room number on it and then they would deliver it to your stateroom the last night of the cruise. And that's to prevent you from drinking the liquor here on the ship instead of buying theirs. But on the table, I looked today and it actually said that Princess's uh, regulations is each adult can only bring one bottle of wine or liquor onto the ship, period. Normally you could buy whatever you wanted. Hey, I have, you know, as long as you tell on your customs forms, I bought five bottles of tequila, then Norwegian would take your five bottles of tequila and hold it for you. Princess says on their sign, if you have more than one bottle, they charge you $15 a bottle fee. I've never heard of such a thing. For you bringing on your alcohol from port, and one of the biggest things in cruise ports is duty-free shopping and people buying alcohol. That's like the biggest thing. People go on a cruise and they buy alcohol, duty-free. Oh, it's just what happens. So I'm very shocked at that, and that's something to know because I never would have known, and if I had bought a couple bottles of tequila, and I would have been super shocked and upset to have to pay $15 for my extra bottle. It's crazy. Minara got her um, favorite fettuccine alfredo tonight. Oh, I didn't get that. Thank you. This is the peach bellini, iced peach bellini soup. There's no ice, it's just probably a cold soup, even though it's... Mm -hmm. Peach and Prosecco. Holy cow. Minara, this tastes like that, a fresh, fresh peach we tasted in Georgia. You liked it. You liked fresh peaches. It didn't taste like regular peaches. You understand what I'm saying, right? Yes. And so therefore I'm trying to say this soup is extra good because it has a fresh peach taste. Yeah. Very good. And that's very good. I didn't get that tonight. Mm. I just, I um, only get it on Prince Cruises, so I, I can't not so have good. it one night. I forgot about it actually. I'm sad. There's a sadness over me knowing that tomorrow's my last day of my cruise. Actually, you guys know this if you watch my vlogs. Not all, often do I feel like I could cry when I get off the ship, and I feel like I could cry when I get off the ship. I'm like getting teary eyed already. It has been the most perfect cruise. I can't think of any one bad thing at all. I mean, the food, the people, just the atmosphere, the, everything. The feeling, you know, because different cruise ships give you different feelings. Maybe they invoke stress or they. You know, you don't like the crowds or the or people or... Just cause, like, or something. It's true. Maybe you just don't enjoy it as much as you thought. But anyway, this one has been 100% perfect. 100%. Look, I gotta tell you guys one more thing. We got in the elevator and, um, you know, these elevators, there's like four of them and there's a big space in the middle. So when we press a button, Manara kind of waits on one end and I wait on the other end because by the time one opens, you can't even walk down there and get it before it's gone. Yeah. So it opened and Manara went in there. Well, we were at the very end, so I held, I pressed the button and she like ran down there. And then I came 20 seconds later, uh -huh. 
And then the guys, there's two guys in there that are like, is that it? Older guys. And then Menard's like, yeah, and he's like, good, because that's it, close, close the doors, that's the last passenger. And then the elevator started moving and he goes, did you have two more people with you? Is there two more people in your party? And I said, no, if there were, I would have held the door open until they got on the elevator. <sighs> like, some people are so rude, you know? Anyway, it's my little rant. <laughs> now I have to eat my delicious fresh peach soup. Yummy. <laughs> yes, delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I ordered the fish, which I don't remember what it was. Oh my goodness. And then I ordered the scallop and shrimp potato stuff. Sorry, I don't remember what it was called. And I told him because I wanted this and I just wanted a plain piece of fish. I had no idea it was small and cute like that. I hope it's good. Menard's still working on her pasta. She ordered a, an appetizer size and they gave her a full size. Whoops, and she didn't even want to eat that much either. Oh well. This is so dang fresh and spectacular. There's a little salt, no lemon. Mmm. I just couldn't not get the fish because besides pasta, this is the most amazing fish. Well, it's good. <laughs> so darn good. Oh, then I'm always like, holy cow, it's so good. But I'm serious, and if you watch my fast vlogs, <laughs> it's so creepy. The lights keep moving. They do dimming, dimming and it, brightening. It, yeah, it's so. Creepy. Maybe because they're revving the engine. I don't know. Getting ready to leave. Anyway, I have enjoyed this food on more than I have on any princess ship. Like the first one we ever went on was spectacularly good. The Royal was good, but I didn't find it as good as the Regal, and this is even better. Everything is just so I can just describe it as being fresh, wholesome, not processed, not covered in flavors because it's a bad quality. Um, just spectacular. Every single breakfast, lunch, or dinner I look forward to on the ship because it's amazing. Truly pleasurable and enjoyable. So if you guys love delicious food, then you would love to have a dinner or lunch on Princess, I'm telling you. This is just shrimp. There's a uh, one piece of shrimp, two pieces of shrimp, and three scallops in here. And this is a mashed potato on the sides, but the good creamy stuff in the middle is just like cream and butter. And it is, once again, it's not overly rich, besides in its simpleness, and it's not, uh, you know, uh, a lot of foods, like I said, they put a lot of flavors on to cover up the quality of the food. They don't do that here. But like you could describe your pasta? Huh? You, like you describe your pasta, just simple yeah. and delicious? So, like, you like enjoy the flavors of the... A lot of times, this day and age, it's just everywhere, like, they just try, they try so hard to make something, like, so extra, and I'm like, I just want, like, simple pasta. You know, like, I'll go to a restaurant, and it'll be like, mac and cheese, but with, like, it, but it's, like, smoked with bacon and stuff, and I'm yeah. like, I just want plain mac and cheese. But, such a good mac and cheese, and such a good quality that you yeah. can just enjoy the simpleness exactly. of it. Anyway. I love this food here, <laughs> and this is so good. Menard has been continually showing pictures of my dog and her dog, which makes me miss them even more. Look at that face, isn't it so kissable? I just want to kiss it. I call him, it has a worn off button nose. That's where it used to be black. <laughs> I need to go home and give him a kiss. All my babies. And here is Menard's main course. It is roast beef. Yes. Pot roast. Pot roast. Pot roast. Pot roast. I thought it was roast beef. Do you know how much pot roast that is? Yeah. When we buy pot roast from Schwann's, it's $30 for a little piece that will feed five or six people into a little pile of stuff, maybe oh my God. like this top piece. Well, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I don't think anyone can eat all of this. Try, I bet you can try it. How good is it? It'll change your mind. Wow. Just say one word, two words, right? It's princess. <laughs> is it spectacular? How in the world is everything so good? Anyway, Cracker Barrel, I ordered pot roast. It was like 12 bucks, and then you get just like a little sliver, like maybe the bottom piece, but that is a lot of pot roast. Wow. Mmm, that looks good. Enjoy. Wow. <laughs> it's six o'clock, and we're skipping dessert to go watch Saint Louis. And uh, that's fine with me. That's fine with Minara. Holy cow, do you smell the garlic in here? Nope. One of their pastas tonight was a special pasta with lots of garlic. Yeah, she's still chewing. I was like, come on, Minara. Do you want dessert? She goes, no. I was like, let's go. Do we try to find the front, Minara? We're trying to find the front ship where you can go up on top of the Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, delay while we wait for the last tour guests to join us. How are you, Nate? Good. How are you? How are you? Wonderful. And uh, once we're on board, we're on board, on board last we'll day tomorrow. Did you hear that? There's a I'm delay. Yeah. Yeah. This is us? Yes, yeah, so this, wait, wait, wait. This is our deck. You're going to 15, right? Yeah. That's one more. Yes, thank you. Bye. 
Um, did you hear that? Wait, we're at the back of the ship. We're... The whole ship, the boat's being delayed because they're waiting for a tour to get back. Did you hear that, you guys? I am serious. <laughs> well, that's why you book with the ship right there. Dang it. Because if that tour, this ship would be gone right now if it wasn't a tour on the ship. Yeah. It would be gone. And those people would all be left. And the only reason they're not leaving and the only reason they're holding this cruise ship is because it was booked through the cruise. They will always hold it if you're booked through the cruise. Never if you're not. This happened just now. It's um all those people. 604. Whoops, excuse right. me. Hey, apparently one more deck too low. Which I thought the oh, because the bridge is on 15. Uh -huh. So we need to go to 16. I don't know. We're going up one to 15. This is 14. <laughs> up one deck. Up one deck and all the way forward. This is the Lido deck. There's people down here. Oh, there's a door. That's how you get out there. It's a real secret deck. Deck 15, the Lido deck. All the way to the front, down the residential hall. We gotta look. Ah. Ooh, open the door. This is it right here. Oh, oh yes. Oh yeah. And here we are. Wow. Secret deck. Wow. <laughs> It's all above the entire brick. Whoa. Wow. Spectacular. This is a viewer what? Look. I think it's one of the best decks that I've seen on a cruise ship. Like with the best views. Look at the vista, the freedom. You can see the officers on deck. Oh, man. That's where we were right there in that wraparound. And we're like, how do you get down there? Wow. Well, you guys, I bet you that might be it right there. Probably. Coming back. Oh, they're a boat full of people. Huh? Could be that one. Huh? Could be that one. You can tell by what. Yeah, it could be the bark boat, too. That's what we call it, Ultramar. Well, we can kind of tell what people were on the Princess or not. It doesn't look that full. It looks like it might be yeah, there's one. a lot of people on there actually. Maybe the Ultramar one. Yeah, so it could be one of those two. I'm gonna watch and see. Wow, that's an exposed balcony right there. Look at it, Minara. There's Harmony. Oh man, that's an awesome piece of work for a ship there, I'm telling you. And it looks so pretty this time of night. Let's go see if that was the tours, Minara. Okay, so people are getting off of it. <laughs> Let's see if they come to our ship. Kind of looks like a partial hidden Mickey shape down there, the one ear. But um, like Menard pointed out, there's a buoy there. It says crew pool, the hot tubs in the pool. Although I never see anyone in them, ever, ever on any ship. They usually <laughs> always net it over like that. Maybe they do it at the end of the night. Maybe, yeah. So you guys, I see people with princess totes and princess towels. So that is the, <laughs> that's the first time this has happened that I got to stand here and watch people come on the ship after it was held for them. It's a... Uh, that's a lot of people. Yeah, it's 6.17 right now. So the ship would have left 17 minutes ago. And if all these people got off that excursion, like I said, there would be no ship here for them to get onto. Lesson. Look, we can watch their TV, Minara. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. There they are getting on board. <laughs> A lot of people. A lot of them. Look at the way the balconies are layered so everybody can see in your balcony. We're gonna go to our balcony right now, which is all the way at the back of the ship. Um, it's gonna be dark here in a minute. And there's still tons of people coming on. The line is huge. And then they're gonna have to clear the ship and detach the ship from the pier and all that. So we're gonna go sit at the back and watch uh -huh. it. Look. Oh, that is so cute. I love decorated doors. Me too. Y'all know I'm a fan of that, right? <laughs> It's not just a Disney thing, even though it started from Disney. I just, every time I walk in the pool deck, I'm like, oh, dang it, pizza. We never gonna try it again here on the ship. Can you think about it tomorrow, you think? Yeah. It's our last day to, to try it. We're back here and we're, we're leaving. Um, we tried to get out two different places and they're all blocked off. Come on. So here we finally are. See, here's the Harmony, we're right by it. Oh, look at it.
Oh, I love it out here so much. They just blasted the horn three times, which is what they do. They go, nah, yep. nah, nah, like that. You like my impression? I've been sitting out here since before I pulled away, and it's about 7 o'clock right now. It's how long it took for them to get to the ship and get on the ship and clear it. That's a really long one. Are they going to do it? God, that reminds me of the New York cruise where the horn kept pulling off and the fog was scared to shh poops out of me. How would this go creepy? Huh, the three horns, but these seem a little longer. That's a very low pitched horn. Why? Maybe it's the other ships. the sound. I know. It's so eerie. Yeah. In a way. Okay, that was three more. What the heck? They, they start out with a pitch like, look, they're just having horn wars. <laughs> they start out the pitch like it would be <laughs> the beginning of that song. Every time I hear horn, you guys, I just turn the camera on real fast. Because... <laughs> That was, awesome. that was awesome. Yeah, so on the New York City cruise, on the Norwegian oh ship. Oh my god, that was so scary. Wait, were we, didn't we go on our balcony? Listen, okay, real quick now. If you don't know how YouTube works, you click on my channel. Like right now in this video, if you pause it, you see our little icon down there that Menard drew. If you click on that or our name or something, it'll bring you to our main channel where we have videos. But if you click on playlists on our channel, playlists, it shows you every single cruise vlog like by title, Norwegian Escape, Carnival Fantasy, MSC Divina, Oasis of the Seas. And when you click on that, you can watch them all in order from number one until the end. And if you let it run on its own, it'll play them all one after the other, one after the other, like a big old movie, okay? So this playlist would be called Norwegian Gem. It's our New York City, Canada, and New England cruise. And we were coming back to New York the very last night and we had slept with our door cracked because it was cold, like 50 something degrees and we could finally do that. And um, in the middle of the night, two o'clock in the morning, I was woken by a horn going off. And I don't mean like a regular, like a little horn. I mean the regular loud ship's horn. Yeah. Uh, like that. And two o'clock in the morning, there shouldn't be ship horn going off. Yeah. In my whole life. It was our first non-Caribbean cruise. And so it did it two times. I think it honked two times. I'm gonna call honked. About every two minutes. Yeah, someone told me it was two minutes after the fact. Or was it once every two minutes? It was every two minutes. Yeah, something like that. I think it was just like a. Uh, uh, loud yeah, and then it waited two minutes and then did it again. And so I got out of bed because I'm not gonna lie, I still get paranoid and panicky on ships sometimes, thinking of like what if. Well, it went last night and it was really rocky. So rocky. It was really rocky. Really? Okay, Minara says, what'd you say? I don't know, we always think, could the ship sink? Okay, yeah, I'm like, sorry. I, said, I don't think it's really rocky that much. Like, why is it so rocky? Yeah, again. Um, anyway, I went outside, I was afraid to look outside, and I couldn't see anything, not even our balcony banister, because there was so much thick fog, because this is where right coming into New York, and um, it was the most creepiest, eeriest feeling I think I've ever had, standing in that balcony with fog so thick you can't even see the hand in front of your face, knowing you're in water in a ship, and hearing that horn go off every two minutes. That yeah. horn in the dark in the fog was very eerie. Yeah. See, that's my story of the most eeriest thing. And it took me about a good hour to fall asleep. Maybe I only slept two more hours for us that night. It happened all the way until we got into New York. I almost did have a panic attack. I had to stop myself. Tell myself it's fine. It's probably normal. And I think it is normal for that cruise and going in New York City. But anyway, what's your scary story? Tell me what your scary story is. I know you probably have a scary story. I have a couple of them. Let's make a video about that and put it on um, our Patreon page. Yeah. Another shows you anyway, to start here. Explorers Lounge with, of course, not enough seats. People have to stand up everywhere. I'm not gonna stand up. Sorry. No, 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 no. Nope. Not gonna do it. Do you want to stand up and watch the show? Who no. wants? <laughs> Who wants to go on a cruise ship and stand up and watch the shows? Look, they have this app. I was gonna show you guys. It's free. Gives you the little list of what's happening and stuff. Sure, why not?